guys, the people that say that you have to repent of your sins or do uh, any type of work to get to enjoy fellowship with, with our Father God um, are denying what was accomplished by Jesus Christ on the cross because that fellowship is included in our justification. And whether or not you enjoy that fellowship is a matter of faith, not works. And for any new subscribers that may not have heard, I have a whole playlist on 1 John. And that includes 1 John 1-9. Um, I went through the, the book, uh, the whole book, verse by verse, and I did it prayerfully um, and carefully and uh, did not teach it in a way that it contradicts the gospel or, or um, where John actually contradicts his own writing. Uh, so I think it's very true to the word of God and where some verses are definitely um, taught wrongly, misinterpreted out of context and taught wrongly to the church in there. And the way that people often teach it, it truly is a contradiction of the gospel. Because any, if you tell believers that they have to do a work to obtain something that was included in our justification as part of the free gift because of Christ's finished work, because of his shed blood, then you are denying, basically, essentially denying Christ's finished work, okay? Um people, a lot of people just want to say that you've just got your ticket to heaven, but you know, there's all these other things you have to do, um, to have fellowship with God and things like that. Well, I mean, truly it's a matter of faith, whether you're enjoying that fellowship that you do have as a fact, because when Christ died on the cross, um, the, the veil was torn. That's the veil that goes into the Holy of Holies, the holiest place in the temple, uh, where God is. And we have access to him where we can come boldly before the throne of grace and say, cry, Abba, Father. You know, we are adopted into the family. We are sons of God. And so you just come forward in faith in the blood to fellowship with the Lord. And whether or not you want to repent of, of some sins that you've done, that's up to you. And it's not always necessarily a bad thing. It can be a good thing. As long as you realize when you do that, that that's more for you and maybe more for your conscience, you know, than it is to actually earn or deserve fellowship or for God to welcome you with open arms because he already does. It's not something you have to do to to have the Lord op welcome you with open arms or to be pleased with you because he is pleased with you because he sees you as righteous. Okay. And there are people that are just, they just get so mad when they hear that. They're like, you can't be sinning and God sees you as righteous. That's a denial of the gospel. And they don't realize how sinful they are. They think they're good, okay? And the thing is, it's all Christ. We don't get to boast. Um, and that that's just the, the bottom line. And I am, as I put in a community post earlier, I'm going to uh, uh, make a video on trying to help people understand what our death with Christ means and what being the new creation in Christ means. Being, you know, buried with him in baptism and risen to walk in newness of life and what exactly that means because there's a lot of misinterpretation of that. And I really think it will help you with your walk. Um, and so, and some of you may already know. So this is maybe just for the people that that don't already know but anyway I love you guys I just had a minute I'm driving back to work now from a funeral and you know my husband is in construction and as someone we we've known for a very long time in the construction business and whose uh, parents 
have gone to the same church as us forever, passed away of a heart attack uh, at the end of December. It was really sad, but he did know the Lord, so praise God for that. And none of us are promised tomorrow, guys. So anyway, I love y'all. Have a blessed day.